with heat number eight, the second to last heat for the Street Stocks tonight. As the green lights come on, going the wrong way, of course, as well this time for the people listening in on Speedway Sedans Australia Live Channel number one. We hope you're enjoying tonight's coverage so far. And to tell you that your race leader from the outside of the front row in car number six will be Hayden Norman as Phil Lackalit has come from the toe of the field he's already up into third place getting around the outside of Daniel Imagiri in fact he's spun around in front of Daniel Imagiri he's spun 360 got the car back up and straight but the yellow lights have come on he come from the tail of the field as well worked his way into third place just got all out of shape right in front of Daniel Imagiri we may need a new set of jocks after that one as well very close he had to hit the anchors in that one. But he was able to get the car back up and straight. The yellow lights have come on and we'll get ourselves a stop, a race or yeah. done. Take number two though, heat number eight. We'll see the exact same as what we saw in the first heat. And that is uh, Hayden Norman leading Mark Furphy into turn number one and two for the first time. <laughs> like, it, like the last one, he's going to go into third place right around the outside. Hopefully this time though, he doesn't get the car all crossed up going to Cardinal's corner. Your leader though is Thompson from Mark Furphy. Both of them up against the picket fence. While running in third place will be like, uh, Phil Likelet back then to Brad Smith. Daniel Amadori, Wayne Thompson and Clint Hatley at the tail of the field. One lap down and eight, oh sorry, one lap down and seven still remaining in this one as your race leader's pulled out already to a .6 of a, a race lead between himself and Mark Furphy. Phil Likelet now, the man on the inside as the two drivers still trying to run that half track hard line. Uh, kind of trying to gain a bit between himself and Mark Feffy. A bit of a touch though between the 54 and the 71. Sees the 71 machine of Phil Likely just lose two car lengths and now into the clutches of Daniel Amaduri. Yes, Hayden Norman out in front as they head down the back straight. Mark Feffy in second place. He's starting to uh, get the uh, r the skates on. He's uh, closing on our race leader. So move down the main straight. Furphy closing on Hayden Norman. Likely third. Amaduri fourth. Wayne Thompson goes underneath of Smith and goes into fifth place. And back then in seventh place is Clint Hadley. The margin last time around was point uh, seven seven seven. As uh, Hayden Norman leads coming out of uh, Cardinal's corner. There'll be four down and four to go as they come past us in front of this big crowd here at the Quit Collie Speedway. Halfway home and Hayden Norman's lead is down to point, or in fact it's extended to point nine of a second. Uh, he did a quick lap there at 20.864. As they start to spread themselves out, Hayden Norman looking the goods. Yes, on that heat, that lap, he's fought back and he looks like he's fought back even more. The gap is really starting to wide as they move past the judge. It's Norman from Furphy. It's now over a second. It's 1.3 seconds between Norman and Furphy. Phil like it's still running in the third place in car number 71 from Daniel Amaduri, still persisting with the low line. The two-time former state champion from Bunbury, car number 15, Wayne Thompson runs in fifth place. From then, it's Hadley and Brad Smith rounding out your field. Two laps to go in this one, though. This is heat number eight of the street stops. If you've just joined us here at the Quick Golly Speedway. And it's all Hayden Norman in car number six. He's traded his late model this weekend to compete in the street stock proportion of the event. Here tonight, the Quick Collie Speedway. Also tomorrow night at Albany's at Park Speedway. The battle, though, is for second place with one lap to go. Yeah, Hayden Norman on his way to victory. Back to Mark Furphy and Likelet. Back then to Daniel Emagiri, Wayne Thompson, and uh, then Hadley. And uh, also uh, Brad Smith are a long, long way behind, both with mechanical trouble. They're just going to crawl across the line. But uh, good win coming up here to Hayden Norman. Oh, straight underneath of Valor. Uh, Mark Furphy went likely, gave him a hip and shoulder, moving into second place, hold all tickets for the Miners. Uh, the win goes though to uh, Hayden Norman. Uh, fourth place is Daniel Amaduri, then Wayne Thompson fifth, but hold all tickets for second and third at this stage. Likely it was second across the line for Mark Furphy. Two minutes, 50.577, 2.5 seconds outside the track record. Hayden Norman wins heat number eight. 250.577, the margin was 2.563. Hayden Norman will come in to talk to Alan Smallwood in just a moment. And Phil Lucklett also needing to have a discussion possibly. Mark Furphy, no, he's driving off. As we go down to Alan. Thanks, Chase. And a great drive by Hayden Norman, who in recent times has been racing a late model. At, uh, back in the street stock for these two Blue Ribbon events this weekend, tonight at Collie and tomorrow night down at Atwell Park. Hayden, good to see you tonight, mate, and uh, good to see you back in the street stock and a heat race win. Yeah, that was definitely good because it's a massive change from late models back to these, and I've been struggling all night, so it's good to get a win. Um, 
Just really want to thank Paul Joss because without him, this car would have been rubbish back from the Brian Rose. So thanks. <laughs> it's not, not too bad. Uh, next heat coming through, heat nine uh, will be the last qualifying heat. So just a feature race to come. Uh, be starting that mid pack. What's the plan for uh, such a long race? Well, hopefully, I make that mid pack dash and or the top six shootout, sorry, and can um, gain some spots there and then just go for the win, I guess. All the best, Aiden. Thanks.